Hello. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Yes. A few minutes late. So you can always pretty much expect us at about 3.04 or 3.05. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, There's no set time. There, well, there actually is a set time. Oh. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock. But anyway, welcome, everybody, to our stream today, the Watchtower. Yes. Today, with me, I have OSU 16-bit, the man, the myth. That's about it. <laughs> Here he is. Hello, everyone. We got my co-host right here, Booyah. Mr. Derek Kurtz. Hello, hello. I am Tyler Lansdowne, the community specialist here at Netherrealm Studios, and most important, behind the desk, we have Jen. Hello, everyone. Jen dropping with the hello. So, guys, here we are. Today, we're going to talk about some cool, cool characters. We got who? Harley Quinn. Wonder Woman. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about those characters today. Like, you know, like a lot of our returning characters, uh, have some new stuff going on for them. Uh, yes. Harley has some really cool new strings, some new things she can do, yep. new trait. We'll get into that, new character power, pardon mm -hmm. me. Uh, Wonder Woman, a little different, kind of been... She's a lot different yeah. than Injustice 1. Right. We'll discuss all of that. First of all, I want to get to some questions. Um, go How was on your day? My, day? my day was pretty busy. Yeah? Pretty busy. Stream, right. stream day is always uh, hectic. Steve always thinks that I'm a real... Uh, you get a... Uh, I get a little tense, like five yeah. minutes before we start. Five minutes before we start, very intense. Which is probably why we're late. <laughs> well, <laughs> I may have had to do something before we started to change the title of the we stream. Right along. Anyway, right. moving on. So we got some questions this week. Um, again, guys, let me just tell you, uh, if you ask, like, cast count... or you Are ask, they in the game? Or are they in the game? We'll get to that eventually, but we're not going to answer it on the stream right now or on Twitter. That's not the best, best way forward, right. I don't think. Um... Also got a lot of questions about gear, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to answer a lot of those today, and there's a reason for that. Fair enough. Because we have a really big stream coming up in March, which we'll announce when we, when we do, with uh, John Edwards, uh, one of our lead designers here, is going to break down every single thing about how gear works, what gear does, stuff we haven't talked about with gear, some really cool stuff. So um, if you ask gear questions, we appreciate it, but that stuff's coming later. And it's going to be pretty awesome. Yep. Um, but let's ask a couple of questions. Um, or answer a couple answer, questions. I'm not going to ask any. No. That'd be weird. No. Let's answer a few. Uh, Combat Houston wants to know the no gear competitive only search in ranked. Ranked is competitive. Yes. Yes. So if you play ranked, it's competitive gear. Base stats. Base stats. Your gear shows. Your character looks like the way you want them to. But ranked will be straight up 1v1. Yep. No help from the gear. No right? help from the gear. Excellent. Um... Another good question. Will the DLC characters have gear? Yes. yes absolutely, absolutely they will. And another thing somebody was asking is, will we be adding gear as we go through the process? Like, as after launch and whatnot. That's a good question. The answer, again, is yes. Ooh. I'm not going to talk anything more about that. Let's talk about launching the game first, and then we'll move on to that later. Which is coming up. Yeah, May 16th. it is. May 16th. Uh, How so many days is that? Um, it's actually 81. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think you'd go look for that. I, I did the math real quick. When that you, is why I asked. When yeah. you asked me earlier if you should start telling how many days it is, I'm like, eh, maybe we should wait a couple streams. But, but Steve kind of just threw it in there. Yeah. So, hey. Steve does not care. We make, we make our own rules here. That's right. And follow a lot of them, too. Mm. Um, another good question. Swamp Things color shaders are asking about. Yeah. Is it just going to be green? Um, the answer is no. Uh, with Swamp Thing, though, I talked to our art director. We really went for, uh, to kind of try to keep... Try to keep earth tones in there, mm -hmm. but that includes like some you know some deeper reds and some really cool vibrant colors. Like what kind that. of colors you would even find on leaves when they change colors? Right. Yeah. So different think spectrum about of colors. That way. Yeah. Um, what else do we got? Mm. This is a question I get from a lot of people. Um, people are asking if they did play the beta, if their gear will carry over. Absolutely not. No, we're not going to do that. Um, those of you who were lucky, and it was a, it was a very small closed beta. Uh, those of you who were able to play, thank you for all the input you gave us. But we don't want to make it unfair for those who didn't get to play it and have to play against people who day one have all the gear they had. Right. It's just, it's not fair. So your gear will not carry over. You're going to have to start all over. And hell, maybe we're going to be playing a new character. Well, who knows? plus some of those stats and things on those gear right. could completely change. Right. Right? So. An important thing to note, too. You know, we're still in development. We're still building this game. Yep. So things in this build could change. You might see names of moves. Names of gear, yep. stats of gear that will dramatically change when the game comes out. Um, that's just spoiler alert. Yeah. Game's not done yet. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen with that. So just keep that in mind. I know there's a lot of the higher level pro players who are yes. like looking for you know frame data. A lot of that's going to change. Yes. So just keep that in mind. Um, like real quick, just I wanted to thank everybody again who was able to play the beta, and I wanted to put up a screen, Jen. For uh, we got some beta stats. We kind of wanted to show you this, some really some fun stuff. 
Um, 1.7 million matches were played. Almost 1.8 million matches were That's played. That's a lot of gameplay. That's guys. a lot uh, of matches. 500,000 deck star appearances. So he was called. Come you on, cannot guys. keep the cat down except for when Tyler right when I that. play him. Yeah, but it there's looks, no cat. It looks like the community at large is playing like I do, not calling him out as much as they should be. Um, well, 500,000? They should be more than that. It Should there be? Yeah, should there be? This that's seems pretty lot, good. That's a lot of cash. There's 1.7 million matches, and right. the Dexstar comes out about a third of the time. There should be 1.7 million Dexstars. Okay. He's 100% and correct. And keep in mind, you can call Dexstar out more than once in a match. It's not you're like right. once per match. You're right. So. You're right. Uh, 1.6 million pieces of gear dropped. Uh, that doesn't include shaders. So mm -hmm. the other one, because you, know, you get gear after every match. Right. That doesn't include shaders. Cool. So that could be the other 100,000. Uh, one player... Played three thousand matches, a little bit. That 3, is 000. nice. So congratulations. That's a great That's amount great. of matches. Yeah. Uh, and then there were four hundred and four tied rounds. Wow. Nice. Yeah. That is awesome. That's a good stat. And I want to thank uh, Kevin and Anna from our uh, from Nether Realm for getting all those stats together for us. They're, they have a lot of ways they can give some really cool stats. And we hope to, as the game continues to grow and we get when we launch, show you some really cool stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so we'll also be posting that to our Facebook page after the stream, so you can take a better look at it. Um, so, what do y'all want to do? Um, I was going to talk about what I had for lunch. It was actually really good. Oh, has anybody noticed that we're totally twinsies? It's like I'm looking into a, a bearded mirror. <laughs> <laughs> the mirror has a beard? or I... <laughs> well, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, so what happened was... Derek forgot we were doing a stream today, I think, and wore a shirt that wasn't really in Justin's face. Not that Steve ever does. But, right. Uh, right. Uh, so he had to borrow one <coughs> that is the same one that I'm wearing. Yeah. So it's great. But I feel good. Who <laughs> wore it better? Huh? Okay. Moving right along. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're going to take a look at Harley Quinn. Yes. Uh, so let's, let's get on to some gameplay. Steve. Yes. Derek, let's talk yes. about Harley. Okay. All right. So uh, you want to give your lore minute? Well, Harley's a former uh, psychiatrist who her first patient was the Joker, and he convinced her to join evil, and she lost her mind, and now she, uh... She's the bubbly girl that we love. Sure. Yep. Okay. One more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, go over here to Metropolis. Fighters cool. approaching All right, Metropolis. so first we're going to start off with showing some of the stuff that's new with Harley. Yes, sure. Her core base gameplay is very similar. If you liked how she played in part one, a lot of that'll carry over. She's still uh, kind of an annoying gnat of a keep away character, a, a hit and run character. Her guns are very, very good. Um, she still has her tantrum, tantrum stance. Shouldn't have done that. Moving right along. He's been missing the back three, so he's boxing a lot more than he should be. Absolutely. So, I mean, really quick before we get into some of this, let's kind of talk about just the general uh, kind of design philosophy with some of our returning characters, and that is that we want the players who played Harley to yes. be able to get, get the controller in their hands and have a good idea what the game plan is. Right. But we've added some stuff to kind of change up how that works. Yes. She has uh, one of her new combos. It's from that though, and that leads to an overhead. And then if it fully hits, you get the full animation there. And that's a really good combo under, like you can do it in the end after a back three. Or you can use it as a mix up instead of going for the one. And then, of course, uh, all the returning characters also have two throws as well. Yep. And then also from her tantrum stick. Well, she has a new option for tantrum where she slides across some dynamite. Right. And you can actually, you don't need to necessarily be right on or next to your opponent to do it. Oops, that's a great example. Whoop! Yes. So it's got a little bit of distance on it too, which is nice. So it's like a lay down projectile. In addition to her cartwheel and her blazing guns. Right? Now, what I really like about Harley too, can you show the the, the baseball bat again? Yes. Our, anime, our animation team, character team does a great job of kind of showing the fun of Harley. I love the little personality moment at the end where she goes the bat way. And she has hundreds of bats. Yes. Hundreds of bats. Um, what else? Well, she you? pulls them from the Phantom Zone. That's yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know if that's right. No, cards can. Yeah. They have like a fifth pocket. Yeah. Gotcha. You just yes. don't know it's there. And um, most of her moves come back. She still has the cupcake bombs. She still has uh, the air gun shot, the straight gun shot. You mentioned something earlier about uh, the gunshots. That's, yes. Uh, a fun, fun little injustice tidbit. Uh, well, normally when you do a special move, you cannot immediately go into another special move, but Harley actually can. 
So you can see she can do the anti-air gun shot and then immediately input a straight gun shot and the recovery of the air gun shot will end and she'll go straight to the gun shot. So that allows her gun shots to come out faster than normally. And you know, people, you know, a lot of people get kind of scared when they see a character that maybe uses zoning a lot. Yes. But the thing about her, like you said, she's it's it's an annoyance. It's like you have to you have to be patient. Because right. they don't, the, the gunshots don't do a ton of damage. Yeah, the point of the gunshots is not to do a lot of damage. The point of the gunshots is to irritate the opponent and to keep them out. So then they're going to start making mistakes. They're going to start jumping or dashing. Right. And then she can go in. Gotcha. And then, of course, another big thing that's new with her is her character power. Yes. Which now she has Bud and Lou. It's been completely redone. It's no longer the uh, random uh, little buff she used to get. Right. So the cool thing about Bud and Lou is... You can choose whether you want to hold the bone down as long as you want, and then you can choose to have Bud come out or Bud and Lou together. If you just hold it briefly, just Bud will come out. And if you hold it down the maximum amount of time, Bud and Lou come out. And then this is good because she's freed up right after she throws it. As soon as she's done with the little animation, she can move around. So she can summon Bud and Lou and then immediately go into her gunshots. Like, let go. And then, yeah, while the opponents, while they're running full screen, she can jump in, or do her guns, or do a meter burn back three. And so the opponent has to deal with the dogs, and they have to deal with her moves. And then they have a second option if you hold up, where they'll actually do a jumping overhead attack. Awesome. And the same rule applies. You can do Bud or Bud and Lou together. You can do a double. Now, uh, here's, I'm going to ask the stream chat. We are a few seconds behind them. First person from stream chat who can tell me where the names Bud and Lou come from, what classic comedy team... We'll give you a shout out. Yeah. Ooh. So you guys keep talking. I'll watch. So kind of the meta game with Bud and Lou is whether you want to use one or two because they have two separate cooldown meters. You can see they're actually two separate moves. So if you use Bud, you'll still have Lou available. Half phased ninja. Got it right. You got it right. He said Costello. It's Abbott That's, and Costello, but we'll yeah. count it. And also, they're hyenas. They're hyenas, not they're hyenas. That's hyenas. correct. Yeah. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Why would you say they're? I, I apologize to the hyena community. <sighs> well, all right, all right. So, um, for the most part, that's one of the main changes for Harley. Well, yes. new super. Her, her, oh, and a new super, yes, right? Of course, which actually has a really cool startup. It's one of my favorites in the game. She slides under you, and then the bomb drops, and the bomb comes out even if the slide misses. Right. And we get to see Bud and Lou again, which is great. That's a low block. Yes. All right. So, like, if you do it from far away, <coughs> you can see the slide, and then, nope. ooh, Boop. you have to do that sound when it is. Absolutely. You do that, yeah. I, I would do that yeah. every chance I got. And then, yeah. <laughs> Just a series of boops. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get into some of the new stuff that she has as well. Right. Well, first of all, let's talk. Oh. We didn't put that. We, we will do that. We didn't put it into our loadouts we chose, but you talked about her, her uh, character power from the last game. Yes. Those moves have been incorporated into her special moves she gets down. Her, her abilities. Moves, her abilities yes. that yeah. she can get for uh, yeah, yes. your gear moves. So if uh, there was some you particularly liked, a lot of Harley players liked the Dynamite one. Right. They'll be available as abilities. Mm-hmm. And as you'll notice in practice, you can change your loadouts on the fly, which is nice. Not yes. having to go back to players to Awesome. We got awesome. a lot. We got a lot of people talking uh, on on Reddit and on Twitter asking for cool loadouts and cool costumes or gear. So I've, I've kind of I had a good time last night, sort of picking yes. and choosing here. So a little helmet on her, and so this version is uh, she's got the new Molly Watt move, right? She's got the new Molly Watt move, which is this little I'm gonna <laughs> run at you with a baseball bat. Long range advancing. Uh, Mid. And of course, uh, if you hold down during oops, <laughs> if you hold down during it, uh, you can look, go low. You can swing the bat low. Boop. And both these have a meter burn version where you meter burn at the very end and they become unblockable, unblockable. and do a big chunk of damage. Boop. I didn't know that. Yeah. And you know we're getting close to baseball season, so this is a really good place. To I absolutely love only appropriate. Absolutely. I thought you were going to say you absolutely love baseball, which I know is not true. That's not true. And then she has the cherry bomb. Whoop! So instead of her throwing it backwards with it being an overhead, she actually rolls it on the ground. Whoops, if I could do it again. There you go. And it leans into a, you call that a splat? It definitely looks sure. pretty splatty pretty to splatty. me. Pretty splatty. Pretty splatty to me. So there we go. And so you can change out your normal cupcake bomb for 
the cherry bomb. And that's one of the ones that replaces a move. Right. So, so you no longer have the backwards cupcake. Right. right. So it'll depend on the matchup. In a matchup where her zoning is not as strong, and you're going to have to be in more, and you want faster moves, you could use this one. Right. Um, so those are two of the abilities that we decided to choose. Right. And um, like we also touched on, some abilities will be added to your move set, while right. others will replace. And the thing that we touched on once, and I don't know, maybe people don't remember this, I just want to reiterate, that some gear moves that you get, some gear abilities, will take up two slots, so you can only have one. Right. I believe Superman's uh, downward super is one of those. Yeah, the right. N2 for his super, yeah. correct. So yeah, you have you used to be, so you're not gonna have sometimes right. two over, like if it's really good, you get one. And that's kind of the point of having multiple loadouts for different matchups. Right. All right, cool. So, you wanna go into loadout three? I do. All right, let's do it. And you'll see too, the, we got the new, AI, uh, new UI in for the uh, AI screen. You can choose loadouts here, which I think is awesome. Yep. Yes. Again, you can choose whatever stage you want to play on. I did see on, on chat, some people want to see uh, Arkham. Ooh, so. the Arkham, all right. Fabulous. Now you'll see Harley in another amazing outfit picked by Tyler Lansdowne. You nailed it. Thank you. And so in this loadout, she has what's called all-purpose frosting. So if I wouldn't have just thrown that completely over my opponent's head, you'll notice that it's actually doing damage over time. There's poison attached to it. Bloop. And it'll leave this awesome little poison puddle as well. And what happens if the opponent steps in the puddle? They're gonna get some damage over time. So this is a great example of it doesn't replace a move, it kind of modifies it. Yes, absolutely. Now, um, Steve, do you have control over there? I do. Well, you... I'm not a human. Oh, okay. It didn't do that. All right. Boop, boop. Here. And then go ahead and walk so in So one there. Owen steps in it. Uh-oh. Taking so... some damage. If you play a matchup where Harley's zoning is very, very powerful and she can keep the opponent at bay, this would be a great thing to just throw them on the ground. If they hit, they do really good damage. If they whiff, the opponent can't step in them. Yeah, you have a little hazard zone there, right? And then she also has now a confetti cannon. So, what you'll notice is actually the blast radius it seems to be a little bit larger. Yes. And it's better for up close, right? Yes, exactly. It's. It replaces the slow-moving Confetti Blaster, mm -hmm. which is a great long-range move. And this would be something that you can end your combos in. You can end, you know, you could do a short couple of normals into it and push the opponent away. And if you fully charge it, it is an unblockable that does a big chunk of damage. Oh, but you gotta be close, Steve. Hey, little bit, there you go. Bam. Yeah, that's a big chunk of damage. Oh, for sure. So, um, those are just two of the moves that we decided, or four, I guess, of the new mm. moves that we decided to pick for Harley. And, like we stated before, there's even more yeah. Yeah. for these We're not going to give everything away right now. We just kind of want to give you a taste of what you can get. Absolutely. So. Like the, I, oh, I probably shouldn't talk about it. Oh. Is it too late? I don't know what, what is that is. Well, it's just one of her additional abilities, but, you know, we'll let them see what happens. What is it? Well, the Ivy Blessing. But, you know what? Yeah, we'll, keep it, we'll keep it for next, next time. time. So, um, Or never. <laughs> so, so this is just a taste of the frosting. I knew oh, I, that was good. That, that was good. I you guys, I was gonna say, it, but I, I held back on it. Oh, never hold back. Not when it comes to puns. Yeah. No. All right. So you want to do some Wonder Woman now? Well, we got. We're gonna oh. do. A, I, po I posted this on Twitter. Okay. So uh, we do have. We're gonna do an unboxing right now for we've, the camera. This is the first unboxing we've ever done. We've never done an unboxing. I'm yeah. excited. I've actually. Okay. Full disclosure. Okay. Okay. I actually already unboxed it. What? Oh, I know. And here's why. That's completely against all unboxing rules. I didn't. Yeah, well, don't kill the bit. Let me explain. What the heck? Well, it was covered in plastic, uh -huh. and the the styrofoam was wrapped doubly in tape. So I feel like that would have taken too long for an unboxing. All right. So here we got. This is from DC Collectibles. We have the Injustice Two Harley Quinn Red, White, and Black. Ooh. Right here. Look at that. You can see that That's very classy. well. Um, this is from DC Collectibles. Mm -hmm. They are uh, the kind makers of fine products. I own many. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, makers of we we got this sweet lantern we'll be finding for later. So this is a Harley figurine, which is really sweet. Go online and pick this up. Ooh, don't eat this part. Don't no. eat the silica gel. Yeah, no. don't do that. I've done so that. the base says Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. And then there she is, right on the stand up. Right whoa, there. whoa, 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 yeah, whoa! There it is, right whoa. there. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, Man, cool. that's and is, really is that cool. like an official injustice too? Yep, it is. What? It is. That's so, awesome. And then with her stand, with her base, I'm going to do this again. 
Wow. There we go. Pretty cool. So this yeah. is the new Harley. You, should you rotate it so you can show I'll like, rotate. I'll rotate. rotate. I'll rotate. rotate. Not too out. fast. Not too fast. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Can I have it? No. Oh. No, you can't. Okay. You can I have it? I'll think about it. Well, that's not fair. Oh my god, you just broke that piece! No, I didn't. You just broke that piece! No, it pops off. Oh. Derek. So that is the new Harley Quinn statue. So hop online and check that out. Can I Super order it cool. now? You can order it now if you want to. Mm. I believe, yeah. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry to everyone involved. That was a really good first unboxing. First yeah, unboxing. Wow. I hope to have a, one more unboxing in the next couple of months. Uh, I forgot a question we were going to answer earlier. Got this a lot on Twitter. Um, people saw the, <clears throat> pardon me, the awesome video with all the new, the new female characters, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they mentioned that, you know, Cheetah being mm -hmm. a feline. Yeah. Catwoman. Yes. Feline. feline. Are they going to play similarly? Yes. But no, the answer is no. The answer is absolutely not. Yeah. Um, Nailed it, Steve. He was saying yes to the other thing, not realizing. They are not even the same uh, character archetype. Right. No, not at all. No. Would would it be would be would would somebody who liked using grab is like using Catwoman? No, Catwoman is not a grappler. Would someone who liked using grabs enjoy using Cheetah? They might. Moving on. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. That's pretty exciting. It is. That's pretty exciting. Let us move on to Wonder Woman. Now, Wonder Woman is uh, we're right here, I guess. So this is a base Wonder Woman we've, we've chosen. Yes. Uh, Wonder Woman is a lot different than Injustice 1. In Injustice 1, she was split into two stances. That, that was, was her character, character power. power. Yep. Yeah, she had lasso stance, which was a high mobility, jack-of-all-trades kind of. She could do a little bit of everything. And then there was sword stance, which was like a up-close, rush-down, Good, uh, good animation. You nailed yeah, it. Yeah, very good. <laughs> that was pretty Melee good. stance. And right. in this one, uh, we kind of combined them. We kind of took uh, the best of both, kind of the greatest hits, and smushed them together and made her more of a warrior, I guess you could well, say. Well, I mean, you look at her, her whole deal is that she is like one of the best warriors in the yes. world. And having to switch between different types of being a warrior maybe doesn't fit her character as well. And right. now it's all put together. Right. And yeah. She's a, a returning character that plays. Similar to how she did before. Yeah, she she still has. Uh, so we'll just start off. She still has her back two three, which is a great overhead attack with a lot of range. She still has her fantastic down two, part one. And the jumping. And she still has great <laughs> jump attacks. Right, right. We've seen a lot more of those later. I heard Nivik was the OG Wonder Woman player. You know who I think was? You. This guy. Oh. I thought you were a Catwoman player. When he first started in QA, you played a ton of Wonder Woman. I did, Woman. I did, just All like right. I am in this one. And then yep. she has a bunch of new strings that weren't in either stance. That she has a... Awesome. This one which pushes you away. She has this one that ends with a big lasso attack. Now, could you do that from a distance and the lasso yes, still attack? Wow. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. So she's kind of like uh, half a new character. Yeah, it's interesting because I, I played her and I felt like I played a little bit of Wonder Woman in the first one, not a whole bunch. I still feel like her game plan is there. Yes. But it's just you, you get there a different way. Yes, I, I, I agree completely. Um, and then since her character power is no longer switching, she has a brand new one, just like Harley. Mm -hmm. Sure. And it is a blessing from the god. You hit the character power button and she gets a buff. And she has five different buffs that she can get and it's randomly chosen. So she's got a. Uh, e and each of her weapons could be buffed. Whip. This makes Lasso. her whip. Sorry. He's saying I'm everything I'm wrong he's today. About, he's, he's saying calling about hyenas cow. dogs. He's thinking about, well, I get it, I get it. All right. This buffs all her lasso-based attacks. They do more damage. She has uh, her boots, which is one of the most interesting. This actually gives her access to her air dash. Right. And this turns her back into the high mobility character. And did the boots. Lasso. Shield is another interesting one. It buffs the damage on her shield attacks, and it also makes her shield toss the other projectiles. It gives oh. them a property where if they shoot a projectile, and then she gets her shield out, their projectile will be nullified, and the shield, the shield will pass on through. That's awesome. So what, so what this uh, character power really does is that you have to really be thinking on your feet. Yes. Because whatever, like, you have to be a real master of Wonder Woman. Right. Because whatever trait you get, you're going to need to want to kind of slip into that mindset for a little bit. And the great thing is, they last a long time and the recharge is pretty quick. Yeah, watch the recharge. It's actually very fast. So this is not meant to be a buff that you kind of use when you're absolutely desperate. Sure. This is meant to be something that you're turning on throughout the match multiple times. Sure. And like Tyler said, we'd like to see everyone like adjust on the fly. 
and, and maybe maybe you get a buff that you can't use at the point where you're at. Well, it's, right. gonna, it's you can go through it and then start it again. Like, yeah. But generally, like it, the way she plays and her footsie game and her spacing, a lot of these are going to be pretty useful wherever you are. Yes. And so, uh, just real quick as well, um, what's uh, some of the returning specials that she has? Well, she has her shield toss back, and uh, like before, it's a really good combo starter if you need her to come back and hit him. Awesome. Her straight lasso is back. Does she force him to tell the truth on a meter burn? She does. Who is oh, I wonder now? what's being said. <laughs> from, um, Har from Harley, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't know. And she can still do the air talk, the air shield. The up shield. Straight air okay. shield. And then uh, she has her shield bash from part one, which is a, a really good tool to get in close, close the gap. Especially meter burn, it's a great right, meter move. If you meter burn it, it's actually safe on block. So the mix up would be, you know, the kind of meta game would be the regular one is punishable, but it kind of makes the opponent respect it. And then if you don't want to take any risk, you can meter burn it. And it's one of the meter burn moves that you're free to meter burn at any time that you kind of delay. Now, I did see some stuff on chat where people are like, Oh my, that damage, that damage. All that stuff is insane. Yeah. Like, where, yeah. I mean, these are, these are still, you know. Well, yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, then she has a, a, a few new moves. She has an upward shield bash, which is really cool because if it misses or it's blocked, she can come down with this quick overhead attack. But if it hits, it goes into this air grab. That's awesome. So go ahead and see if you can do the, like, so, if, like, you know, like, like if he was coming in, right? Okay. I'm, I, I messed it up. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Brutal. And so there's all kinds of setups with that. You can, you know, go over there on purpose and then come down quickly. You can do combos with it. You can use it in, for to extend combos in the corner. Right. Cool. New super. Oh. And she has a new super which is really cool. And throw. Do I do that yet? Do we have, I don't think we've seen the no, throw. cool. It's cool. <laughs> Throw. It's pretty great. Yep. Quick to the point. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Ah, uh, good one. And I forgot one of her best new normals is 4 2 3, which is a brand new. It's a low combo starter. Uh, it's kind of a high risk, high reward combo starter. And that complements her back two. Yep. That's awesome. Now, yeah, her, the, the low isn't super fast, but it's like, right. off, like off of this. This, is where, the, this yeah. is where the real money is. That's the combo I've been working on that I will yes. drop later. Most likely. Probably. Have Most a little likely. faith. I do, I do. All right. Let's check out, uh, I, I made, a guy on Reddit wanted to see some, some cool color stuff, so I really, really upped, it, upped the ante a little bit with Wonder Woman. So I have some cool stuff I picked out. And Inside. she has some really cool uh, abilities. They're some of my favorites. All right, so let me go ahead and bring you in. Oh, you're still there. Okay. Can you move? Yep. Awesome. But yeah, look at that. It's a pretty awesome new set of gear right. and yeah. color. So this is called uh, the that new shield. Yeah, it's glaring off the line. So this is called the Sword of Athena. It's a low. Yes. Then with meter burn can pop up into a small combo. Fifty-three, man. Ooh, he just told you what to do. He told me earlier. All sorry, right. Sorry. <laughs> he was trying to. He was trying to get tricky. There we go. Yeah. So that's so a low. A very fast low combo starter, and that will replace the shield bash. Right. Oh. Yeah, that'll replace the back one. Okay, okay. I need to think about it. That's what I have said. Yeah, I, later. and that's that's one of the things where loadouts are so important. Yeah, gotta think about that. Okay, cool. Uh, also, the Air Amazonian Slam. Boom. This is kind of reminiscent of her Air Dive Bomb from the first one. It's very, very fast, and it can be meter burned, and it'll go into the shield. So it's the same basic concept as the ground shield bash, but, you know, obviously it's a dive bomb in the air. Right. Very fast, very damaging. And then that can change your jump arc too. So if the opponent's used to dealing with your jump three. Right. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Really cool looking gear set she has for this one too. Yes. The black and black and red That's is awesome. really I really like yeah. the shader. It's pretty awesome. The next one that I've chosen for the gear is my favorite color pattern that she has for me. Like I really enjoy it. The uh, the, the blue, gold, and white. I think it's super cool. And this one we add in. Uh, Amalthea's Protection, which is a walking shield move. This one's really cool. Um, it's a shield. It gives her hits of armor as she's walking. So, Wonder Woman, um, she does have her shield toss, but it's not the greatest projectile. So she can kind of struggle against zoning, and this would be a perfect loadout to do. Right. And she can actually meter burn this, 
And once it's meter burned, she takes almost no damage while she's doing it too. And she's kind of it's a walking tank. Yes. That's awesome. Um, and also too, like you can notice the different shields that we also have here. Yeah. There's yep. so many unique pieces of gear for the accessories for each one of the characters. Yeah, we've talked about it a little bit. Yeah, the accessory slot for each character is kind of their their personality piece almost. Sure. And like we saw the last one had that sort of triangular looking sort of shield. So there's a lot of really cool stuff. Harley's guns. Yes. A lot of really cool stuff. Silencers, for that. Mm -hmm. horns. There's all one with like of a old school like the Re 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 like revolutionary war sort yeah. of. And then of course also in this one she has the lasso spin. Oh. Good wake up. Yeah, a great wake up attack, a great anti air attack. It's multiple hitting. This also replaces the upward shield bash. So you have to make a decision on which of her down back anti air moves you want to use. Right. This one is not as damaging, it does not have the meter burn. But it hits at more of an upward angle, so it totally depends on your opponent which one you want to use. Cool. Excellent. Anything else with uh, Wonder Woman? No, that's basically it. She's do you want to do a swaggy combo? You got a swaggy combo you can do? Yeah. Oh, he hands it over to Tyler Lazen. How many tries? Steve? I think he's going to get it on his third. Third. Third try. Third try. Well, that's okay, well, let's ask chat. Chat, I have a combo I'm going to do. Well, I want to be on the other side. I want to be on this side. Okay. I have a combo I'm going to do, chat. How uh, many times is it preference. going to take me? I'm gonna go with third. Somebody, somebody said 30. Ah, that's one. one. Very that's one. Now you're gonna get it. Oh, you nope. got it. Oh. No. Oh no! Okay. That's the easiest part. That's, yep. Well, there's okay, two. Okay, that's two. two. You said three, said, right? Yeah, three. My hands are sweating. I'm sweating. Ah! I didn't walk forward. Didn't walk forward. Got okay. this. That's four. Right. That, that was three. That was this three. is four. That was three. This is four. Well, the, the warm-up one doesn't count. Yeah, it's, oh. All right, oh. let's start. We're yeah. getting worse. Okay. There it is. Yeah. There oh, we go. Wow. There we go. Okay. Took me a couple times. Took me a couple times. But, uh, yeah. So that's that's my sweet. That's the combo that I love to do. Yes. I did it eight times in a row yesterday. Today no, I did it once in I a row. Did anybody see, see it? That. I no, didn't see no, it, but there no, are, everyone no. was talking about it. Everybody. It was going around the studio at the time you did it eight times. Yeah, it was it was big news. It was big news. Yeah. That's amazing. All right, great. All right, so cool. Did you? Are, are you I don't know. Are, were you? So let's back out. Okay. Get it set up. So uh, that is our walkthroughs of those characters. Let's talk about our game plan for streams. Okay. We got some stuff coming up in March. Mm -hmm. um, some big, some. We're gonna start getting into some of these characters we've been showing on our <laughs> trailers that you haven't seen yet. They're they're definitely coming up. We get your tweets. We read your tweets. Keep tweeting at us, guys. We love it. Um, just know that we have a plan to show you all these amazing hype characters you keep asking for. Uh, once we do, we'll let you know. Keep following uh, Injustice Game on Twitter. Uh, follow Ed Noobdy on Twitter. You can always follow us and talk to us on Twitter. Um, Super excited to show you guys more stuff. There is, like I said, in March, we're going to have a really awesome presentation kind of with John Edwards. He's mm -hmm. going to talk about gear. And you're going to learn some stuff about gear that's very, very exciting that we have not touched on yet. Yeah. We also have some really exciting stuff that we'll be announcing soon that uh, I'm over the moon excited about that I can't talk about yet. Over the moon? Yeah, yeah no. it's kind of a 1930s term okay. I wanted okay. to use. It matches so. the hat. It does. Hey, everybody, hey. want a newspaper? Okay, so... Is this, are we, in, are we ready to go? First of all, bring it out, bring it out. Oh, the beautiful lantern. Dude, don't get to touch the lantern. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to. This is my beautiful lantern ring. So here's the cool, I don't know if we showed this. Did we show this yet? We just found the ring, right? right we lost right. the ring, okay. So, so we didn't show that the actual, like, the power up thing. Yeah, so you touch the, yeah, it's just like. Look at that, and it lights up. Turn that other side. Okay, okay. Yeah, hold on. I said you couldn't touch that's it. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, all right, it's like 20 pounds. Steve, you take it. Yeah, you take it. Yeah. Whew. So there it is. We are fighting for. Uh, so where's Grodd? Coming. He's coming. He's coming? Yes, Grodd has... <laughs> he, he will show him. So, we, so Derek and I have actually picked out... We've created uh, loadouts for ourselves to fight against each other. Yes. Derek, explain your loadout real quick. Um, so my loadout is pretty heavy poison base. Okay. So yeah. I grabbed uh, the, up, the ability for the syringe change, which does poison and damage over time. The Joker's uh, infection. Mm -hmm. And then also I did the cupcakes so that I can do the all-purpose frosting on the normal cupcakes. So I'm kind of just going to try and kill you with poison. Right. Yeah. I chose uh, some stuff to help me get in. 
Yes. I chose the low slide. Why did you choose things to get it? Because that, I believe, for my Wonder Woman, is my hardest trait, especially against Harley. Yeah. Is is the patience to come to get in. Yes. So I chose the sliding knee, the sword. Okay. Because Derek uh, won't block low a lot. Right. Would you agree? Uh, Derek doesn't block high or low. I don't gotcha. block. Derek doesn't gotcha. block. Yeah. yeah. Pick that, and I also picked the air, uh, the airdrop, the Amazonia air slam. Yes. Because I can change up, like you said, my jump art. Because I, because the one thing we, we've played, we played this match a little bit. Where I, I had a lot of good luck when I was able to use uh, my jump three a lot and my down two. So I'll be able to change the, like you said, change the arc of my right. jump. If he thinks I'm going to jump three, I'm not. You know. Tyler, so. I have some encouraging words for you. What's that? You know what powers the lantern? Uh oh. Willpower, and no one in this studio has more willpower to improve and beat Derek than you. You know what? Remix. I feel like it's your destiny to win today. Okay. I'm I, you. I feel like the, the the lantern feels your willpower. Okay. And Derek's taking this lightly. Derek's changing it. I, I'm gonna go ahead and actually say that everything I just told you was a lie, and I'm gonna Harley do this Quinn. one. So I'm gonna switch the. Wonder. Do <laughs> <laughs> Arkham. All right, absolutely. People want to see Arkham. We're gonna give people what they want. Mm -hmm. Two out of three. Good luck, Derek. Arkham Asylum. Have fun, Good luck. Good luck. Steve. I don't. Don't shake my hand. There's no reason to do that. <laughs> what? You. You. Who do you hey, Steve. Steve. Who do you think's gonna win? Begin. I have no comment. We're, well, we're, we're starting. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. All right, here we go. You know what? You know what? I don't. I don't feel. Did you button through the intro? Oh, no, we, 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 we took him. Oh, okay. we took him out. Yeah, we don't. Want, we don't right, want some right. of the uh, maybe special story stuff to pop up. All right. That makes perfect sense. So this is everyone's first look at Arkham, and it has some interesting interactions. The Asylum sign is in play, which is different for power characters and gadget characters. You may see it. Or you may just see you may people just see jumping and whipping. Yeah. Oh, the railing! Oh gosh, get out of here. Now the problem with the slide in this Derek matchup, not the Harley matchup, is Derek spends a lot of time in the air. So I feel like to use the slide, Tyler's going to have to establish the player first. He's off to a good start. Oh, oh. man, I'm getting wrecked. Oh, I missed oh, it. Oh, no, he missed it. Oh. This is very decisive right now. Huh? Maybe not. Oh, my gosh, oh, you keep drop dropping that cop. I was doing great. So I am I'm going ham with down two. Yeah. Which is good, because I jump around a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a great anti-air move. That's going to pick things up a bit. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Go, bud. Go, Lou. Tied it up, tied it up, tied it up. Oh no. Derek has had a non-stop stream of lightning coming in. Right. Harley is very, very good at regulating the ground game. The high is just a... Or one more way to add to that. Oh, the sign got interrupted. Oh no! The slide. Almost got the combo. Oh! Got a combo. I don't know. Like any close. of this. Tyler, you're not using your buff at all. Oh, oh wow! He went for the punish, but it was too late and he got super. That's not gonna kill them. But it's gonna do some good damage. Remember your buffs. Yeah, I keep that's always what I forget, you know? You never know which one you're gonna get. No, stay away, stay away, oh. stay away. Oh. Yes. Bad. Oh, oh yes! Ran into the dog. Hyena. Call it what it is, Steve. Right. Ooh, right, we got some gear. On. Full inventories. It happens. Let's right. go through. All right. Sorry. I need a minute to relax. Did you want to change your lowdown or anything? I think I'm good. Okay. I think the lights dim on this lantern. Oh. Bring it back. You can do it. Go. Oh. All right. Good down two. Oh. Okay, goes to the throw punish, gets it. The hand to throw counter message lets you know that was a true punish. Oh, oh. I'm what trying to get down away. Three is back. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get away and nothing is working. Oh, jeez. Excellent. Another decisive first round. Yeah. I that bottle going crazy back there. I bopped him. Yeah. This was a bopping. Don't. Now, Tyler's taken a lot of pride that he's developed as one of the one on Well, no, you, you trained me. I've just been practicing a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when, when you first started playing Wonder Woman, you're like, oh, I'm going to oh, play Wonder Woman nice. for the stream. And then after a couple of days, I, I, you know, yeah, I, you really grew to like her. 
I, I'd say she might be your favorite character. Uh, yeah, I, I like her a lot, actually. I have yeah. a lot of fun. Be bad. Oh. We got a real barn burner messy situation. Oh, no, 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 making hay with that knee slide really is. Just did get oh. in there. Very fast paced action. Garbage. Oh no! Okay. He is not going to, uh, he's not going to block low. No, he's not. I mean, he's not going to block, period. Yeah, I just don't yeah. believe in it. Yeah. Yeah. Major props to the animation team. Well, every, every, every member of the team. The, the round wins are all really cool. Yes. Like, they're awesome. I didn't use buffs again. I kept forgetting to. Right. Okay. I need to change my plan. I think... Oh, there you go. This one gives you damage reduction. You will take less damage while this is active. It's very, very good. Oh, no. Down to city. Tyler lands down. Oh, no. Who is laughing now? And now buff is already active. Uh, you can't be ducking. Oh, no. Jump three. Okay. Get out. A lot of sweet. Good job of winning, bud. And there you go. There's the poison. Missed it. Oh, Pick up tantrum. No combo, though. Yeah, I messed that up. For the first time, Derek might win the first round. Oh, Never jeez. Oh. Wake up tantrum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's gonna chip, chip me out. Chip me out. Chip me out. Good use of Bud, interrupting the punch. Oh. Woo! Right, we're even. This is a pretty it's close one. one to one, even rounds. The lantern is on the line. The lantern is shining bright. The lantern is high. The guardians are all watching and judging. They're judging all of you. Didn't dunk my head. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, that was a very, very Big mistake, big mistake. Big mistake by John. Derek, if he's smart, is going to bet all three bars. But Derek's not smart, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Derek has an unorthodox style of her screw work. And that none. <laughs> Very PPJ esque. And Derek's sitting on full super. Oh no! I'm dominated. Oh shit. Oh. Did you press the button? I yes, did. he did! Oh, did. That, and that's a critical mistake. Yeah. <sighs> you're still in this thing. You're gonna. Just think of it this way, the damage you're taking, you're getting meter back. Yet. And, he's not gonna have any meter to clash in combo. This is very winnable for Tyler, but not if he gets impatient. Wait, no, wake up Tantrum! Oh no. Oh. Didn't throw him into the corner though, that's okay. Whoa, whoa! Oh, oh no! no oh Got yes! It. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Good match, good match. Woo! It was a good match. There you go. Ah. Played my best. Didn't expect the super there, so. I literally said supers in play. I, yeah, I, I thought that he heard you say that, so he wouldn't go with that. But uh, why would you think that? That's a good point. That's a good point. I think I played well. Yeah, I, I was I, very close. Didn't get to get in like I wanted to. Right. Um, it came down to the end. That was yeah. pretty good. I actually, I, I thought you were going to win at the end. Oh well. But then you know, history repeats itself. Sure. Whatever. Not. We'll get there. We'll yeah. get there. So everybody, that is the stream for the day. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Please come back next time. Follow us on Twitter. We'll always tell you when we're streaming. We're listening to you. Tweet us. We'll answer whatever questions we can. Whatever. And we a can. lot of those questions we can't answer. So, thank you so much, Harley and Wonder Woman. Last yes. takes. What do you think? Uh, Wonder Woman is very cool. Cooler than she was in Part One. That she was already cool. So now she's like the coolest. Hmm. It's a good call. I can't wait to see what. Uh... The community does with Harley, with her new moves, her new abilities, what combinations people come up with. Right. And of course, Bud and Lou are the stars of the team. Right. So guys, thank you again. Thank you to Jen on the board. Everybody, we will see you next time. Have a great day. See ya. Bye. Ooh. You were offered amnesty, Destro. You should have taken I got another pistol. I missed my chance to buy a Superman. How dare you?